Hi, it's Jordan Charles here from the Trade Decorator Review Team. Uh, before I start this review, disclaimer, I've got four stitches in my finger. Um, I grabbed an electric sander, pretty stupid thing to do, but I'm okay, so I'll crack on with this review. Today we are using two Praise Joint and Skim, so it's basically just the cement. And I'll be using it on this ceiling, which actually annoyed me because the ceiling was finished and then it failed the sound test, so we ripped it down and done it again. Anyway, long story, but um, this is what we're doing. There's a couple coats still to go on, as you can see, mainly the flat joints. I've done these ones by hand just for time and I didn't want to get the machines out, but I'll bring them up today, fire a, fire a couple coats on and see how, see how it performs. The main things I'm looking for with this is how easy it is to apply how fast it starts setting up and drying and how it feels to use by hand and um, colour difference to other various cements as well. Um, I've had a little play with this already and it's actually really good. I did throw it through the Mark V um, spray plaster machine and it was great, it was actually really really good. Um, I have a practice panel in my spray room and I sanded it as well so I don't really need to test the sanding on it because I'm really happy with how this stuff sands sands really really easily, it doesn't leave um, lots of swirl and it doesn't actually leave a lot of residue when you sand it as well. A lot of time when we find we sand and um, spray plaster or tape it in drywall, it, um, it leaves a, like a, a powder on the surface. This stuff seems to just sort of fall away, it didn't leave too much um, on the actual surface itself so I was pretty happy with that. The finish is really good as well so I can't complain, it does everything it's supposed to do. I'll fire it through our 10 inch box first and I'll give you a quick video of me doing it and yeah, we'll see what it's like. Um, let's get to it. Just before I start the video, I just want to show you the actual tub. This is what you'd be looking at if you are to buy it. And also, this is what I did our first coats with. Just, it was faster drying and this is really just the finished coat for me. So, ignore this. Finished with. But this is what we're doing today. And I'll just show you the front of the tub and a wee bit around the back. Um, easy to sand, minimal shrinkage, no need to spot prime for manual and spray application. Um, spray application, already talked about that. Really good, definitely works. Just give it a good mechanical mix. And yeah, all the other things. The spot, no need to spot prime. Personally, I prime everything anyway, so I don't really think it applies to me. And um, yeah, there's not really much you need to know other than how it performs, so I'll show you in action. I threw this through the spray plaster machine because I'm always apprehensive when I get fellows like this and say, oh, you can spray it, but um, you can, and it sprays amazing, like really, really smooth, really, it's like butter, um, just like uh, other types of spray plaster, but it just had a really nice feel to it, didn't drag, didn't, it was just really flowy and really nice. Um, so you can spray this and it might not be cost effective to do it, but you can um, you can use it on well anything you like really um, I'm sure I described in the last introduction video that you can spray it on just about anything from concrete to painted walls to For using it for spray plaster as normal um, I'm really impressed with this stuff Quickly before I start I thought I'd show you the tools for those that aren't familiar with it Here we have 10 inch box and handle. This is actually an extendable handle and the box is loose until you grab the handle and it can stop. This gets filled with the cement and the back of it gets pushed and the stuff comes out here and it cleans itself off and it's really easy to apply. You'll get the picture when I use it. And before it this is the pump, so this part actually goes into the tub, you pump and it comes out this little nozzle into your box and that's it. This is how it works. I've also found the heater. Stuff. and we use this stuff 
For people that understand these machines, there's little numbers here. I'm on number three, just for the flat joints, feather edge bit. Finger's okay, it's a bit dirty now, but I'll show you. That was actually really nice. I did a little trick to myself with other cement. I'll stand in front of this light. With other cement, I usually thin it um, for using the box just to make it easier. I actually just did that straight, like neat. Um, I expected to find that really hard. It was actually really easy. It was really nice. Uh, I'll do the rest of the ceiling and I'll, I'll let you know. So here's an update, I'll stand in front of the bulb. Um, other than I've got a hat on, this is dry. I'm not being funny, I could probably sand it, it's that dry. I'm not gonna, I still get another coat as well. But that's been one, two, three, four, five hours. It's not particularly hot in here either. I'm actually really impressed with that. I've never had a uh, taping cement dry that fast on me. But yeah, it's pretty good. So for those that are a bit sceptical for how fast this dries, this has just been lying like this since I've done it. I've been a bit lazy, I've not actually moved anything. And there's just a little bit left of my hop here. If you can see, it's actually really rigid like it's cracking and everything and that's like usually you touch it and it's still soaking wet but that just goes to show you how fast this stuff is actually drying no i'm really impressed with that and then obviously as you can see it's soft on the inside but look at the outside no really good here's my overall review so what i make of the two three joining skin Let's highlight a few things. Spray plaster and aims tape in that. Basically all I use them for. Spray plaster in quick mix and straight through the Graphic Mark V that I had. Spray plaster a small panel. Brilliant. Really nice. Didn't leave horrible tails either. Might be the tip I was using, but um, it just sprayed really good. Um, Trouble really nice, didn't have any grit in it. Sometimes spray plaster can have little gritty bits or anything like that. It was really smooth, really buttery. Yeah, it was just really great to use. And it actually sanded really well. I think I mentioned before that it didn't leave that horrible dusty residue. Big bonus marks for me. Didn't have to brush the wall down like I usually do. 
Uh, for the tapering of the 10 inch box, it gets 12 inch box as well. But um, I didn't even thin it, worked great neat without any watering down at all. Um, quite effortless as well, usually it's a bit of a harder push when you don't thin it, but it just felt like normal. A little bit trickier coming out of the pump, I may add, but my pump's not the best at the minute. Um, it's just really old, probably doing not great. Uh, but yeah, really happy with how it actually performs like as I'm using it. Uh, treating with hand stuff, it's just like most cements to be honest, they're really nice to use, nice fine fill, and it hasn't shrunk a lot either, so because usually you can tell with a 10 inch box that it's not quite finished, but um, not that I'm gonna, but you probably could get away with sanding and painting that. Uh, yeah, so no, I'm really happy with the Tupu Jordan skin. It's actually a really great product to use and it's actually made it a little bit, it's caught me by surprise a little bit with how quick it dried and just how nice it was to use. Um, it's been a real treat to be honest. Uh, but yeah, so for an overall view, do I recommend it? Absolutely. Do I think it's the best cement I've used? 100%. Um, I've used other brands, uh, two in particular to be honest, that are pretty common on shelves and uh, local decorating centres and wherever else, but um, it outperforms them 100% for ease of use and for drying and for, I don't know, just just the feel, I can't describe it, it's just a feel, isn't it? So, um, for me, am I going to rate this out at 10? Have to give it, well, it's got to get top marks, it's 10, it's the best I've ever used. So, 10 out of 10 for me for this product. Um, price wise, I haven't actually looked it up. I do have a sneaky suspicion it's going to be a bit more expensive, but you're paying for what you get. If it's higher end work, obviously I'm going to use this. Um, if it was my own place, I would use this 100% because it's the best stuff I've ever used. So that's it for me, and I hope if you have any questions about this product in particular, or if you're thinking about using it, please do not hesitate in getting in touch with me. Leave a comment below, or go on the YouTube channel, hit subscribe, hit the little bell notification. Uh, you can constantly update it, not only this review, but all our reviews we've got coming up as well. Um, please do like, share, comment, let us know what you think. If my review is pretty rubbish and you want me to do anything else and update the review, if you want me to add any more information, please do tell me as well. For those that are interested, my stitches are still in and they still really hurt, so I'm all good. Um, but yeah, that's it for me. Uh, thanks for watching. So, hi everyone. There you saw Jordan Charters from the Trade Decorator Review Team put in the two prey joint and skim through its paces, um, obviously using it on the taping and jointing and also through his Mark V spray plaster machine. Now, I met with Christian Heron, who's an area sales manager for two prey earlier this week to find out more about the two prey joint skim and filler range. Hi, Christian. How are you? Great. Thanks, Paula. How are you? Oh, I'm glad you could join us for the festival. Um, so tell us, Christian, is joint and skim a filler, a plasterer or a cement? It's actually a filler, but doing a job you would also do with a joint cement. This is also a great skimming product. Uh, it's used as an alternative to plastering. Some professionals that machine apply products like this call them spray plaster filler. Uh, it's great for these jobs because it dries fast, it's easy to sand, and it's white in color, so it's really easy to cover. You may have also noticed that it looks a little bit gray when Jordan was applying it. The product is designed to go on wet and is very slightly gray during. This helps when you keep track of your work area when you're applying it, but it does dry white in color when you've finished. You don't also, have to use PBA. Uh, I know that was mentioned. Uh, you don't have to add a mist coat to the filler. In fact, it's better if you don't because the filler is designed to breathe and PBA actually acts as a barrier. Okay. And what kind of jobs is it best suited to? So it's suitable for jointing, as you saw in the video. It's also a great skimming product. It can go up to five millimeters in thickness. It's very smooth to apply uh, and it provides a very fine finish. It's also extremely easy to sand and, and feather. You can also, you can really get a seamless finish with relative ease. 
Okay, and in the video, um, we saw Jordan apply it with a machine as well as manually. Uh, what machines are suitable for spraying this product? Uh, yes, you can apply it with um, with a blade or a trowel, with a with a taping tool like Jordan did, or as you say, with a, with a high pressure airless spray machine. For spraying, we recommend a machine with a minimum flow of five liters per minute and nozzle sizes between 3.31 and 6.35. Okay, and Jordan talked also about adding water to the product. Do you need to dilute it? Would you recommend it? No, uh, it's quite a loose mix already. So it's ready to go as it is. You don't even need to stir it, although I, I do know a lot of decorators like to do this before they start. Okay, and is it just for use on plasterboard? Uh, slightly different for all the products in the joint skim and fill range, as we have a large range of ready mixed and powder fillers within the joint skim and fill category. But for joint and skim, as a rule of thumb, it's typically 12 meters squared if you're skimming at five mil. Now, five mil is quite thick. However, you can, co you can cover about two to three times that if you're only doing minor imperfections, say one to two mil little scratches like that. Now, Jordan pointed out and he was really impressed with the drying time of the product. How long do you say it takes to dry before you can apply a second coat or paint over it? This product in particular, it takes between 12 to 24 hours to apply a second coat or to paint over. The reason we designed this range is ultimately to give builders and decorators better results in less time without compromising on the quality of the finish. Where the joint skim and fill range really shines is its one coat easy sand system. The market is really saturated with multi coat, very limited in depth products. So the whole reason why we brought joint skim and fill out is to, to challenge this. It's worth saying that already mixed fillers have some degree of shrinkage due to the water content in them. However, with joint skim and fill, we've spent years specially formulating this to produce minimal shrinkage, which really allows joint and skim to go further and in turn making the products more economical for the user. All of our powder fillers, so the 5 kg, the 10 kg and the quick dry step up versions of them, all one coat unlimited depth fillers that are easy to sand that really give customers better results in less time using less products and when it comes down to quality it's a range that you can truly rely on uh, to give you the best results possible okay so what exactly is the drying time is that the same as the setting time so the this is a question that often comes up in regards to fillers and it can be confusing. Essentially, the setting time is the time it takes to harden and the drying time is the time it takes for all the water to have evaporated out and it now it's ready to paint. With ready mix fillers, the two are basically the same. Uh, it sets at the same time as it dries. But with most powder fillers, there's a chemical reaction that starts when you add the water. The plaster or the cement in the filler reacts with the water first to set a solid crystal lattice. That structure is then fixed and hard, but it still contains water. The water then slowly evaporates until the filler becomes fully dry and solid. That's why our three hour drying time of joint skim and fill powder is such a game changer. It's now possible to get the whole job done in one day, including painting, without having to worry about the quality of the finish. Okay. Um, how much area would you expect for it to cover? Slightly different for all the products in the joint skim and fill range, as we have, uh, as I said before, a large range of ready mixed and powder fillers. But for the joint and skim, as a rule of thumb, it's typically 12 meters squared. If you're skimming at five mil, however, you can cover two to three times that if it's only covering minor imperfections. 
Okay, you mentioned a few times that there's a number of different products in the range. Can you tell us a bit more about the other products, Christian? Yeah, of course. So the Joint Skimming for Range is, is based around the idea, as I've mentioned, giving customers better results in less time. And after thorough market research with professionals, professional users, during our development stage, we recognise that the quality of the job and the time it takes are the two biggest factors to consider on the job. So that within the range, there are five different products based around this concept. You have the, uh, the patch and repair in the ready mix, uh, which, and the powder as well, which is designed for gaps, cracks, scratches, and, and holes. The joint skim and fill 5 kg and 10 kg is for surface finishing, filling, and plasterboard jointing. Then of course, you have the step up, the quick dry version that I mentioned before, and the joint and skim that Jordan tested currently in the 20 kg tub. We're also, uh, it's worth mentioning, we're also launching a 10 kg tub as well, uh, in addition to the 20 kg. Uh, so all of them essentially are, it's, it's worth bearing in mind when deciding fillers, what you get with the joint skim and fill range is a one coat, unlimited depth, easy sand system, and that's what sets apart this range from anything else in the market. Fantastic. Well, I know that the joint and skin product is fairly new to the market, which is why we wanted to do the review. Um, so where can we buy the product? So the range is available at all major decorating and builders merchants throughout the UK. Uh, our team is also available to help when it comes down to deciding which ones you want within the range. Uh, whether that's in person for site visits, over the phone or, or on email, we're, we're, he we're here to help. Oh, that's really great. So we can, they can buy products directly from you. Um, so we supply the, the merchants and then you, you buy them from your, your local merchant, essentially. So we supply, we supply the stores and then you, you can get the products from the stores. But if people are having trouble getting hold of the products to get in touch with you and you'll be able to provide a stockist list. Yeah, we have a we have a good relationship with with all of our distributors. So if you if they have run out of stock or if they if, they, if it's a large project that they're working on, they need to order in a lot um, you can speak to them, then they'll speak to us and we can we can get that get that sorted. We always carry a good amount of stock as, as this range has is, is really taken off and there's a lot of demand for it. Okay, brilliant. Well, thanks ever so much for joining me and for giving us more information on the Joint Skim and Fill range. It's been great to have you on the show. Thank you, Christian. Thanks a lot, Paula.